Without knowing it, you have made thousands of agreements with yourself, your partner, your parents, society, God, and so on. These agreements are based on your beliefs, the beliefs which have been taught to you since you were a young child. However, these agreements are not always beneficial and can cause pain and fear. For example, you might feel like you need to work hard at a job you're not passionate about because you have been taught to be independent and make a living for yourself. The laws or social agreements that society imposes on us domesticate us into abiding by the social standards without questioning why, merely trusting that our parents, teachers, and friends have rightly taught us what is good and evil and what is right and wrong. The Four Agreements, written by Don Miguel, offers a solution. This book is truly a guide for freedom and happiness. It emphasizes that you should stop holding on to your negative and limiting beliefs. Instead, it offers you four life-changing agreements to live by that stem from the Toltec, a tribe of indigenous people from Mexico who preceded the Aztecs. So without further ado, let's get straight into the four agreements. The first agreement, be impeccable with your word. Words are how we create our reality. Our internal view of the world is shaped by the way we speak to ourselves. That's why you should never use harmful negative words towards yourself or other people. This means that you must refrain from placing blame or passing judgment. Most of us have been taught to constantly carry an inner judge with us who is critical of everything and everyone, and we are the most frequent victims of this judgment. When we continuously criticize and blame ourselves, we are mentally going against ourselves. So always be aware of the influence your words carry on, both yourself and others. We might not even realize that we have this inner judge. Put this to the test. Be mindful of your thoughts and words towards yourself for a whole day. Write some of them down. What's the overall pattern? Do you praise yourself when you do a good job? Or do you put yourself and maybe others down? No one has ever mistreated you more during your life than you have mistreated yourself. And the maximum level of abuse you will tolerate from others is the same as you would tolerate from yourself. You will likely move away from someone if they mistreat you somewhat more than you mistreat yourself. However, if the abuser treats you somewhat less harshly than you treat yourself, you'll probably continue to tolerate their treatment indefinitely. Instead of hating, judging, and blaming, use words of love and support. When you express positive words towards yourself, you will soon find that your life will be directed towards positivity as well. So take care of yourself with your words, because they represent your inner thoughts. You may still be accountable for your choices once you stop judging yourself, but this time from a place of self-love. The Second Agreement Don't Take Anything Personally being domesticated by society contributes to the trap of personal importance. Most people are focused on themselves most of the time. How do I look? What do they think about me? Why does the teacher always pick on me? Why does my manager never give me credit? You need to remind yourselves that not everything is about you. We would all be better off if we wouldn't take things so personally. Whatever happens to you, how people act towards you, most of the time it's not because of you, but because of them. We all live in our own world shaped by our own beliefs, experiences, and agreements. That world can look very different from someone else's. When we take something personally, we often make the assumption that they know our world and we try to impose it on them. But everything they say and do is according to the agreements set in their world. Taking things personally makes us an easy victim for others. They can hook us with their thoughts and opinions and feed us with their poison. That's why you must take on the habit to step back and consider the other person's perspective. You must realize that they're acting in line with their beliefs, not yours. And therefore, it's about them, not you. As you practice and get better at this, you will gain confidence and put more trust in yourself instead of in other people's opinions. You can never be responsible for the actions of others. You are only responsible for you. When you truly believe and understand this, you will no longer be an easy victim for others. You will be strong and unfaced by the careless comments and actions of others. The Third Agreement Don't Make Assumptions 
How often have you mistakenly believed there to be an issue when there wasn't? Making assumptions can easily lead to miscommunication and complications. Most of the time, our assumptions are just the product of our overactive imaginations and not based on the reality of the situation we're facing. We can overcome the habit of making assumptions in two simple ways. Firstly, we should find the courage to communicate clearly and express what we really want. So, when you have that yearly assessment talk with your boss, express what you want in a clear, straightforward way. I have shown tremendous growth this year, which has translated into great work results. That's why I feel like I deserve a pay raise. Don't assume that your boss would have just given you a pay raise without you having to ask for it, if he felt like you deserved it. Find the courage to have a clear conversation about it. And second, if anything remains unclear, you need to ask questions to fill in the gaps. This way you will avoid misunderstandings and disappointment. So, you agree that I deserve a pay raise? That's great. Could you elaborate on what you think would be fair as to the amount of the extra salary? And finally, the fourth agreement. Always do your best. When you always do your best, there is no way for your inner judge to judge or criticize yourself, and you won't have to suffer from feelings of regret, blame, or guilt. If you always provide your utmost effort, there is no room for self-criticizing. However, it's important to remember that your best will fluctuate depending on the circumstances. Your best will not be the same when you're healthy and energized as when you're sick. You can also not be expected to give it your all, all of the time, since you will most likely not be able to keep this up. Overpushing yourself will only decrease your progress because you will wear out your body and mind capacity. So, while always doing your best, keep in mind your current circumstances. When you give it your all, the process will become enjoyable. You'll develop self-acceptance skills and learn from your errors. You'll see how important it is to spend time doing what you enjoy and want to do rather than act in a way that pleases other people. As you give your all in every aspect of life, you'll start to live it more intensely and achieve your goals. To live up to these four agreements, you need to free yourself of the old harmful agreements that society has imposed on us. There are three easy ways to do so. 1. Start becoming aware of your harmful agreements. Everyone suffers from them, sometimes without even knowing it. It's important to turn on that self-reflection and become aware of the beliefs you have that limit your potential in life. 2. The power of forgiveness. When you don't forgive, you will be left with negative thoughts and feelings of resentment. The Toltecs called this the parasite in your mind. This negative mind capacity takes up energy and leads to a downward spiral. Maybe you started your day off wrong because you missed the bus. If you let that impact your mood, this will have a negative effect on the rest of your day. You will have to be able to forgive others and yourself to be able to move on. 3. Remember that each day could be your last. The purest form of motivation comes from the realization that time is limited. So act now and start applying these four powerful agreements to your life. Don't be harsh on yourself if you fail. Start over. Try again until you succeed. Once you will see the benefits of these agreements manifest in your life, you will be grateful you learned them and took action. Well, that ends our video for now. If you could start with applying one of these agreements to your life right now, which one would it be? Let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more videos on inspiring best-selling books and press that bell icon so you won't miss out on any videos. See you in the next one.